I'm Jose Castillo. I'm the director of the Computational Science Research Center at San Diego State University and the director of the Computational Science PhD program at San Diego State University. And we're interested in inviting you to consider our program as an opportunity for your graduate studies. There is a new paradigm in the scientific discovery in the 21st century. And used to, we used to have science uh, uh, basically driven by experiments and theory. And today, we do actually have a tripod and the extra leg is given by computational science, computational experiments, particularly in areas or places where there is no possible to do real experiments. So sort of astrophysics, but even in, in uh, microorganisms where it's very difficult or basically intractable problems, computational science plays, plays a very strong role. Another, uh, another way to describe it is by an intersection of math, computer science with science and engineering. In the last few years, biology has become uh, information-driven science, and computational science is really at the center of everything we do now. We apply all of the tools the computational scientist has to understand genetic information, to understand how evolution works, and to understand how life around us changes and adapts. The video you're watching was developed by students in my lab to use cell phone technology to analyze biological data. Through a combination of servers at San Diego State and servers at Argonne National Lab, we can send data back and forth to our cell phones and we can do real-time analysis of data regardless of whether we're in a computational lab or out in the field somewhere. Because our students have such a diverse background, there's um, a lot of variation in their level of um, uh, mathematical sophistication or they're uh, dealing with computers and so uh, uh, we offer a couple introductory courses that try to you know address these um, this sort of varied levels of backgrounds that our students have in the computer course uh, where we teach uh, pro programming skills so one of the things I wanted to do was to have a a student dedicated cluster, which is something that students could use for their classwork, but also for their uh, for their research. And our goal here is to um, is to bring um, uh, students level up uh, within their first year of study, so that they're able to do some fairly sophisticated uh, mathematical uh, reasoning, and also do some some fairly sophisticated programming um, by uh, the beginning of their second year in the program. So one of the reasons why I chose computational science was because of my research and I come from a physics background so I did not have a lot of background in, in programming and computers in general and by coming here I learned all different kinds of things that were required to make me a very strong candidate in my, in my area so now I learned how to program and to do parallel computing and things that normally I would not learn and that greatly improved my programming skills to it made a really big difference in my research and I'm really happy to have been able to do that. Now, what is the kind of student that we want? We want students who are motivated, passionate about what they want to do, and they are really interested in using computational methods to help advance science and engineering in the 21st century. Students in my lab need to be pretty self-reliant and they need to be motivated, and so as long as they're interested in what they're doing, I think that's great. That's really the main thing we need. I write a lot of custom programs, and um, the, the work days I really enjoy most are the ones where I'm debugging code. I, I want a student who enjoys the logical process of figuring out how to make the computer do what they want it to do, and uh, who revels in the high that comes with uh, finally being able to do that. We're a joint program with Claremont Graduate University, um, which is part of the Claremont Consortium, I, one of the best research um, units in the world. At Claremont, at Claremont Graduate University, we appreciate the quality of the students that come through this program and uh, attend our courses, and I think 
our own students also benefit from the interaction with the students from San Diego State. So it's uh, you know, a good thing all around for both campuses. Well, the main expectation is that the students should be able to conduct at some point in their uh, careers or in their program uh, original research. Uh, I'm part of a group that emphasizes uh, research in dynamical systems and the topics and the type of projects that we conduct with students typically involve original work that has the potential to lead to uh, publications. So we emphasize um, originality and also you know, dedication to uh, produce the high quality work. We actually prefer to target a group, small group of students to be able to nurture them and uh, guide them towards the process so that they are successful. We want to invest in our students, but of course at the same time we want we demand that the students perform up to what we want to do. The program here at San Diego State is that it's usually in pretty small groups, so there are now groups of like 20 or 30 PhD students. So it barely have, ever happens that you are, you know, um, being stuck on a problem for months without seeing your supervisor trying to reach him that you don't get any answer. Um, the supervision is really good here. I really like this program because of its multidisciplinary nature and that I have access to professors from various different fields. Um, and that it's very practical oriented. And so far, we actually have been very successful, mostly due to the productivity of our faculty and our students. The strong publication record of our students really is what gave us the, the, the position in the top 10 uh, programs in the country. The viewpoint I really enjoyed about this field because same thing, same equation, same technique can be applied in really, really many fields. So although you are working on a particular uh, project of your interest, but the techniques that you use, you can apply it in many other fields that maybe you don't even have any background in it. We actually know that the problems in the world usually don't come from the university. So it comes from outside, national laboratories and industry. For that reason, we created the ACCESS program which is an outreach to industry and national laboratories. And ACCESS actually, which stands for Applied Computational Science and Engineer Student Support, is a mechanism to bring industry projects and national lab projects to the university for our students to work in real world problems. CSSC gave me the opportunity to work in one of the most important national labs in the United States, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. It was a great experience and I applied what I learned in the program. So I had the benefit of being able to work on real scientific problems throughout my graduate studies, which really helped to build my skill set, my familiarity with high performance computing, to give me the opportunity to work at Oak Ridge National Lab now. Okay, another aspect of our program that I would like to emphasize is the environment. I mean, for example, what kind of environment would we have here? Well, first, we can start to say San Diego is a great city. So, you know, we have the ocean, we have the mountains, we have every possible thing that you can imagine and a wonderful uh, climate. But more important than that, the climate in our center, the Computational Science Research Center, we have an environment that is very friendly, very welcoming, and our students are basic, uh, very happy and productive. It's really multicultural and it's been a great experience to learn about all these, learn about all these different people coming from all different backgrounds. Pretty intense program, so we become very good friends and learn to rely on each other and help each other a lot. I like here because people are friendly and this is a very good mix between academical work and fun. So San Diego is such a beautiful place to live that it's more distracting <laughs> than it is helpful. <laughs> um, but there's always something to do when you need time to get away from your work for a little while. There's always something to do and it's so beautiful here going to Balboa Park or to the ocean and as well San Diego is a mecca for diversity. You, you meet so many interesting people out here that it, it truly is a wonderful place to live. I assure you having been here now 40 years myself that San Diego State University is a hard habit to break. You'll like it here. It's a little bit like Hotel California. You can come it's not that you can never leave, but you will never want to leave.